Hi guys, I am back and today I want to show you something very exciting, the image block animation which is being rolled out as we speak very very soon. You might even already have it. I got an email from Squarespace that this is going to happen for circle members for now as we are still in beta mode. So. Hi, first of all, my name is Kerstin Begley. I'm a website creation coach and click by click tech guide, your website coach and click by click tech guide. So what I want to show you is here. For example, if I scroll down the image block animation, see how the image of me there just appears like that. Did you see that? I'm going to show you again um, because it's probably not as obvious because I chose that particular animation. And, uh, but you can choose others where it flies in from the bottom, from the bottom, from the left, from the top, and as well as the text. And I'm going to show you how that works. So let me go into the about page and then scroll down here. I'm going to just do this one because there is less text. I'm going to get rid of the text because this text is just a text block, but it needs to be an image block if you want the text beside the image to be moving as well. So I'm going to go into design, click edit in the image, go into design, and let's say I'm going to do the overlap here like that. It doesn't look as good now. I can change that in the design in the style editor, but I'm just going to show it to you as it is here just for demonstration purposes. So if I want that image to be flying in or if that if I want that to be an animation, you go into animations and you go into custom. You can also just go into fade in if you just want the whole thing to fade in or if you just want the whole thing to slide up. So you do it here. If you want them to come in separately, you click into custom, you click into the animation, animate image. So let's say I want that to be flying in from the left hand side and I want the text to be flying in from the right hand side. See how that worked? Click apply and click save. This is my live website now. So I'm just going to have to change that again when, uh, when I'm done with this video. And I'm going to show you on my live website what that will look like. Let me just quickly refresh it. And there you go. And now we scroll down. And as soon as we come up to that part, see how that flew in there, to that part at the bottom. No, it's not that one. See how those two sections flew in like that? So that's what that is. And also how to switch it on in case you don't have it just yet. You go into your dashboard here, go into settings, go into circle labs, and this is where you activate it or where you enable it. And that's it for today. If you want to have any more of those tips and tricks and new features, make sure to join my free Facebook community, Squarespace Newbies. I'm going to put the link underneath this video. Make sure to join and also make sure to subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be sharing news and tricks and tips here as well. But in the Facebook group, I'm in there every single day answering questions for Squarespace Newbies so that you can take website control and never have to pay a website designer again. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the group. See ya. Bye-bye.